Henry Louis Gates is a famed professor and director of the Hutchins Center for African and African American Research at Harvard University. The historian and author also has become something of a television star as he teaches history through popular series like Finding Your Roots on PBS. In our Sunday Spotlight, Harry Smith visits Professor Gates to discuss his latest lesson called Making Black America. Are there still things that you can only say to another black person that you could, would never dream of saying to one of your white colleagues? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Barred through American history from participation in white culture and community, Henry Louis Gates opens our eyes to a parallel world that for many is unfamiliar. We called it making black America because this is how our ancestors created a world a sepia world, a world behind what W.E.B. Du Bois called the veil. There were social and fraternal organizations, literary societies, conventions, and labor movements. Martin Delaney, a great abolitionist, said that we were a nation within a nation. And that is the world that black people created behind the veil. The whole system was linked together through something that they called the grapevine, which was the vast system of social networks that knitted black America together, even under slavery. African Americans have always been the central and driving force in the cause of their own liberation. But we see time and again, a lot of black folks were written out of the central moment of their history. And one of the most powerful moments is the Underground Railroad. How as many as 100,000 or even more enslaved people escaped subjugation? The railroad's underpinning? Inside the AME church, literary societies, many of the leaders of the colored convention movement were also leaders in the Underground Railroad movement. Seriously, are colored conventions in your recollection of American history? The colored convention movement is this remarkable um, network of state and local and even national conventions where black Americans come together to debate ideas, the promotion of black thought. What white America would not affirm, black Americans proclaimed for themselves. The Prince Hall Masons are a wonderful example of the ways in which black Americans both borrow and then build their own autonomous organizations. Yes, black Masons, among them Thurgood Marshall, Jesse Jackson, John Lewis. No matter how bad you were treated, by the larger society, that's how uh, you earned uh, dignity. That's how you reminded yourself of your real status as a valuable human being, a person of worth. Teach, Henry, teach. My job as the post and executive producer is to lift the veil. So much of my work is designed to share the stories about our ancestors who fought so hard to force America to live up to its ideal. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Harry and Professor Gates, thank you very much. The series Making Black America premieres this Tuesday night on PBS. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.